working a job in order to pay the others to ship. The deal was on. Bronzna was the first to study, so Marie began to work as a teacher. During all these years, she worked hard and was able to pass on her passion for science to her students. enjoyed teaching very much. But whenever she had a chance, she would run to the lab to conduct experiments. Some years later, after Bronzna graduated, Mary's, Marie's turn to attend university finally arrived. It was her moment to begin the biggest adventure of her life, studying physics in college. Marie was very excited, but a bit nervous as well. She had never been so far away from home. Marie's fear disappeared. The very moment she arrived at university, she knew she belonged there. There was not much to do. She was busy all the time. Fortunately, Lulu was there to take care of her. Don't forget your sandwich! Marie's education paid off and she finished study in only three years. She was so bright that she didn't take long to get her first job, researching whatever she wanted. She felt on top of the world. Marie decided to study the mystery, rise that come out of a recently discovered rock. The radiant heat and light. Marie called this volume radioactivity.
are doing this, Marie discovered two other rocks that turned out to be even stronger. Marie realized the shiny rays might be used in medicine. Are you suggesting they used to be to treat illnesses? Indeed, these rays could be used to cure many illnesses. Her peers looked at her with astonishment. Never before a woman achieved such an accomplishment. The entire world was grateful, and from then on, Mary was known as the Bright Queen. Mary Carey lived from November 7, 1867 to July 4, 1934. She was the first woman to receive two Nobel Prizes for her discovery. She was also the first woman professor at a university. Yeah, and thank you for listening. Goodbye.